This morning, millions across the South dealing with the aftermath of Francine after the powerful storm system slammed into the Louisiana coast. Some homes surrounded by floodwaters in just minutes. The Category 2 hurricane roared ashore Wednesday night. Whipping winds nearing 100 miles per hour, toppling trees and ripping roofs to shreds. Dan Stevens' thrift shop in Homa completely torn apart. What was your reaction when you came out here? Wow. <laughs> You know, it's just uh, a little overwhelming. Oh, she from right there. Andrew Short survived a devastating blow, a tree there. falling on his home, nearly crushing him on his couch. She covered me up. We just cleaned all this out. But the, the sheetrock that fell from up there. Now, 48 hours later, the cleanup is just beginning. That's not good. Power crews rushing to make repairs as tens of thousands remain in the dark across the Gulf Coast. No deaths have been reported from the storm despite hundreds of rescues, like this dramatic scene that played out on live TV. And that water is almost to the window of that pickup truck. Miles Crawford, an ER nurse, rushing to save a driver whose vehicle was submerged in chest deep water, smashing the truck windows with a hammer to pull the man out. Man, oh my goodness, he just fell in the water. It was rising like very fast. By the time I got him out of there, the entire truck was submerged. Louisiana's governor commending Crawford's actions while urging residents to take these storms seriously. I want to remind the people of Louisiana that we put out these warnings specifically to avoid these kinds of situations. And overnight, long lines forming with neighbors helping neighbors, passing out food and water to those impacted by the storm. This is a resilient town. And, and as you can see, southern Louisiana is still very much in recovery mode. New Orleans public schools closed again today, and the governor of Louisiana tells NBC News that he's hopeful that all power will be restored by Sunday. But looking ahead, his biggest concern is the possibility of more storms this season. Hoda? Yeah, it's that time of year. Kathy Park for us there in Houma, Louisiana. Kathy, thank you. Well, Al's got his eye on all this extreme mm -hmm. weather and the weather forecast for the weekend. That's right, guys. Good morning and good morning to you. And we are looking now at post-tropical Francine, 90 miles north, north, west, west, northwest of Memphis, 25 miles per hour. And right now, here's the problem. It's only moving westerly at three miles per hour. This thing's going to meander. And it also goes to show that with climate change and more warm air and more moisture, these things, even even when they're not a storm, they can cause problems. Tomorrow, this thing is going to cause scattered storms from Florida into Tennessee, rivers that are running high, creeks, and we're looking at a lot of heavy rain in northern and central Alabama. We're talking rainfall rates two to three inches per hour, and so we could see upwards of five to six inches of rain in central Alabama, some more heavy showers along the southeastern Atlantic coast, and we've got a lot more tropical activity going on, especially what we're watching, a 30% percent chance of development of this system off the southeast coast that is going to be meandering this weekend, bringing heavy rain. Low may develop. We don't know if it'll become tropical, but it is going to cause big problems throughout the southeast. Guys? All right, Al, thank you much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.